Give me some thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Hopefully everything is okay. You guys can hear me all right. I'm just gonna adjust this and let some, let some of our peoples come into the live. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. So I'm sure some of you, I can already see some of the comments. <laughs> you guys are eager to see what we're going to talk about today. Not exactly sure how long this live is going to be, so we'll see. But um, this live is going to be, oh, so we'll see. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, why don't we just jump right in. Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey, whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack. We're here to discuss the details and the tea and everything in between, and we're so happy you, you could be here to join us. So of course, if you are digging our lives and you love our live streams, you enjoy being a part of the good vibes here, and just talking nails and nail stamping, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, we're all about creativity and stamping realness, which is, um, you know, what we enjoy talking about. So if awesome nail art is something you're into, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out every Tuesday. Also, don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear uh, what you want us to talk about. And yeah, let's just get into it. Um, Actually, sorry, scratch that. Let me also give another reminder for some of you who haven't heard, but um, if any of you are up for a nail challenge, which I know creativity is right up your alley or else you just would not be here with me, um, we've kicked off a new manicure challenge series. Um, just, I believe it was just last week. And it has a series of different themes for each month. This is our first month that we're doing it. So we're asking beginners to advanced nail stampers. Everyone is welcome. Um, technique is definitely not the main priority. And we want you to challenge your creativity and also your storytelling through nail art. So join in. You have a few more days. The theme right now for April is called... Um, I'm sorry, not as called, is nature. So really, that encompasses anything. Flowers grass, trees, mushrooms, you know, anything that encompasses nature, anything that you feel, um, you know, matches that theme, go ahead and um, get your submissions in. You have until April 15th to get creative. So if you want all the full details, go to www.maniology.com slash challenge. That's www.maniology.com slash challenge for all the details. And we'd love to see what you guys create. We do have a scoring system involved and there are prizes. So I encourage you guys to jump in and join in this manicure challenge. Again, it's not about the technique. It is about your creativity. So please, it doesn't matter where you're at, where you're at on the nail stamping journey. We, we want to see what, what you're up to, what you're doing and, you know, what inspires you. So go ahead and check that out. Okay. So, hi, everyone. Um, if you joined me in my previous live, oh, first of all, before we get into that, everyone say hi to Dev. She's here, and she's going to be helping us with the um, comments and stuff on the back end. So everyone say hi to Dev. And there is a poll that we have up. Have you tried the new Flexi Stamper? 7% of you have said, yes, I love it. 76% said, nope, not yet. And 17% said, it's in my cart now. So for those who it's in the cart now, get it, get it, get it. Um, and hopefully for the 77% of you, I will be able to convince you that the actual thing does work. So in my previous live where I introduced um, our newly released Flexi Stamper, um, I would have to say a good, you know, majority of you guys who joined in really loved the concept, loved the snapper, loved the demo. However, dot, 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 um, I got came for, and, um, there were some comments that were made and, um, basically I, 
we want to be able to address it and talk about it and see and, you know, discuss this and stuff. Because apparently I was told that um, I didn't do it correctly as far as the enlarging is concerned. So if you're not familiar with the Flexi Stamper, if you're just joining in for the very first time, this is a new product that we just launched and it comes with, it comes shipped in this box with a... Um, our classic stamper, I'm sorry, our scraper card. And if you've never seen this product, this product helps you to enlarge and um, shrink down your stampers in basically a few easy motions. The way that we used to do it before, just, it works, but this allows you to do it all in one stamper. Very, very simple, very, very easy. But, um, so basically, right after I had done the demo, there were a small handful of comments that came in that basically kind of jogged my, uh, I, I guess I was trying to think of, like, did I not do it correctly? <laughs> because I remember showing this, okay, in the live. And this was actually the original stamp. I haven't done anything with this. I just actually happened to save it. Good thing I didn't throw it away because I, I wasn't ex ex you know, expecting to do a revamp, I guess, of this particular live. But looking at this, I was like, did it not enlarge? You guys, you guys be the judge and you write your comments. So here is the original stamp. This is the shrunken stamp. And this is a enlarge them. I didn't do anything else, but doing the method that I showed previously, it looks large. So again, maybe it could be me. But the comment went like this. You completely messed up the enlarge method. I have been using both the Moira and Uber Chic shrinking and enlarging stampers for over a year. You did the enlarging method completely wrong. Pick up the image with the stamper at the regular height, then twist the bottom to put up the stamp, push up the stamper. This will enlarge the image. If you twist first and push the stamper head before picking up the image, all it does is warp the image. Many of us tried telling you this repeatedly during the live. What you were doing in the live did not enlarge anything. It does not work that way. It just warps and distorts the image. So that was the comment that was left. And so, yeah, I want to show you basically what I did. And I want to try the suggested method uh, left in this comment and we'll be the judge how it works. Because to me, it, it, the, the method I did, it did enlarge. I think honestly, there are some factors. Some images probably look a lot more enlarged than others. But, um, and then also I just wanna make a mention when, when I'm doing these lives, there's a lot to pay attention to. Um, there's, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually the person behind the camera doing the nail art and then also um, trying to read the comments and all that kind of stuff. So naturally, it's, it's impossible to see all of the comments that are coming in. So if any of you try to get my attention, it's not because I didn't pay attention. It's just because there's just a lot going on. So, um, but today, I'll let you guys be the judge. And... Let's just kick it off with, part of me wants to do the same image. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I have the exact same plates I used in the previous live and let's just, let's just try it. So let's see, I have plate here, M439. And let me just bring this in here. Okay, so let me see, looking at this, it was this image here. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp that. So today we're just gonna use the sticky stamper station. Handy dandy sticky stamper station. I feel like when I say that, I feel like Steve on Blue's Clues. 
Any of you Nickelodeon people grew up in the used to watch a lot of Blue's Clues and I was probably older then. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up at its regular size. So make sure that this is down, it's not enlarged. Okay, I'm going to remove that. And here I'm also going to show you that you can also use it as a regular stamper. Okay. So let's do that there. That is regular size. Now let's go ahead and put this back in and make sure now, since we're gonna go ahead and do the shrinking, I am gonna push this all the way up so it's not in its neutral position, which I'm so glad people wrote comments saying that, you know, like, oh, neutral, that's a, a much better way to describe that, that it's now in its neutral position which means that this little contraption on the inside is not pushed up. Now I want it pushed up, okay? So you can see there that it's now a lot more domey. And you can actually see the pressure of that knob in the middle. Okay, oops, that got dry. And now I'm going to go in with the same black stamping polish here. Using this. So I picked it up. And now I'm going to push this all the way down, going back to its neutral position. I'm going to take this off. And now this image should be shrunken. So again, still in its neutral position. And okay, so right now I'm going to show you the method that was previously in the video. So again, if you had watched me before, then you already know what I'm about to do. If you've never seen it before, then you'll, you'll see what I did. Okay, so for the enlarging portion, we are not going to be able to take this part off. Okay, so the way that I did it was I took it from its neutral position and I pushed it all the way up. You can see the pressure in the center. And now I'm going to pick up the image just like that. So what I did was just take this and I stamped it right next. Okay, actually looking at this, I can clearly see that that doesn't look very stretched at all. This for some reason looks stretched, but this is the exact same way that I did it the last time. So now let's try the suggested way that it was told to me and let's see how that makes a difference. I actually haven't tried it and I'm interested to try it with you guys. So let's go ahead, push this down to its neutral position where it's not doing anything. And we're gonna pick up the image just like this. And I'll be completely honest, you know, for some people, I know um, there, there's been similar products, obviously, uh, released from other companies that are just like this. I've actually never seen or read any videos um, that are basically showing how to use this product, if you can believe it. Um, so when I say we're a small company, we're a small company. So I actually personally have not seen any. Um, so seeing this suggestion, you know, really kind of intrigued me and stuff to come on here and want to try it with you guys all. So I'm gonna pick this up. It was stated to pick up the image. And now let's push this up and enlarge it, okay?
and I can already tell that this looks different. Okay. So, let's see if I can mark this here. Okay, so this is, can we see? Don't go blurry on me. Can I write? Anyway, this is neutral. This is original, okay? This is the shrunken. This is the method that I showed before. And clearly, this is the suggested method, and it works, okay? I like these stamps. These are so cute. So I want to be able to try it with you guys because it's, it's just funny. I tried it the other way, and that looks... It looks distorted. I agree. But it looks bigger but so does that that looks bigger too and i you know i don't know what happened with that to be honest so let's just scratch that not a big deal but the suggested method definitely worked so why don't we try a few more and see how the images looked Sarah, I see a comment here from Pam. Did you freeze? Can the rest of you guys see me? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Sorry, I'm silent right now because I'm trying to go back into comments and stuff. I saw a lot of comments going on here. And... I just want to say, before we continue and stuff, this is not to poke fun. We're a community here and stuff, and I'm addressing something that was told to me, um, you know, in the comments and stuff. And of course, I'm here because I want to address it all with you. Do, mis you know, mistakes happen? Absolutely. I'm not superhuman. It is subject to happen. And actually, I think that's the greatest part about doing these kinds of things live because we are people. We are not robots and mistakes happen so it's not about that we're a community here that's exactly what we're here for to help each other out um and also can we do things differently absolutely we do it differently all the time so at the end of this if you find that one method works for you then go ahead and do it nobody's stopping you Nobody is stopping me. I just want to be able to offer you guys the information and you guys can figure it out for yourself. What method works best for you? And why are we talking about lobster rolls? Dev, why are we talking about lobster rolls? That just sounds wild and also tasty. And now I'm hungry for some lobster rolls. So please, community, you know we're a nice group over here. It's This is not about throwing daggers. It's not... Nothing is that important. At the end, you know what I always say, be kind. We're here to be kind. And um, that all we're here for is to support. So let's get back into the demo. And I was going to show a few more designs. You know, if you ask me, I think, again, the more intricate a design you know, the more details and stuff, I think it's probably going to be able to maybe see some the designs a lot less. Like I had used this in a previous um, sample and I could tell like how big or small this design got. So let's try something else. Let's see. So many cute mushrooms. I'm actually using some of these mushrooms in my nails today. We always come back to food, don't we? Always, always, always. We love to talk about food here. Okay, for kicks, why don't we just use same image as last time? Actually, I wanted to use a metallic, so I'm gonna use this. This is um, ultraviolet. Okay, 
So we're gonna pick it up, neutral position, neutral position. Make sure you bring that down. Let's take it off. And I'm gonna stamp that in the middle. It's a pretty long stamp already. Okay. So now to shrink, we are going to push this all the way up, no longer in neutral position, and we are going to shrink. Go ahead and pick up this image, bring it back down to its neutral position, take it off, and now this should be the shrunken version. Okay. So now, we're gonna pick it, pick up the image in neutral position, and then we're gonna push up to enlarge. Okay, now let's push this up all the way. And let's go ahead and stamp that right next to much, much bigger. I mean, not much, much bigger. This is subject to grow about 20 to 25%, so you, or um, shrink about 20 to 25%. So, But you can see that I think in general there is, and this was also mentioned in the comment as well, that doing this method actually creates a more... Um, or like a less distorted stamp while enlarging. And I would have to agree. So far, I see great consistency between all three, whether it's shrunken, regular, or enlarged. So let's continue and let's try another design. Laura, I agree. I, you know what? Food connects people, that's why. And I think that that's why we probably always end up talking about food. Because I think no matter what, where someone is located or what culture you grew up, it's, it's the thing that keeps people going. Okay. I wanted to try this because I figured, oh, okay, I can enlarge uh, one of these bows. So let's try that. So, so far I do have to say, I like this with the suggestion that was given. I do like the consistency. So far we are two for two on that. You know, and the whole point, oh, I was, I mean, I could have totally stamped like that. It's, that's the original stem. Um, the whole point of this is to make it easier. So yeah, I would say so far, going with the suggested way would be the way to go. Now we're doing the shrunken method. So we are extending it all the way. I'm gonna pick up the same design. Let's bring that down. Wow. <laughs> Blue Froggy 99 says, I wasn't really interested in this stamper at first, but now I need it. LOL. Definitely, I mean, I think 
honestly if you want to like resize on your nails and stuff or if you have like really tiny nails or if you do little uh like kids nails which are considerably smaller this could definitely be a stamper for you just to have and i know hint hint wink wink we do have some collectors in our midst here in our community and i'm not judging um this would be a good stamper for you to just have in your arsenal um just because it has a lot of functionality too okay so the last part of this design we are going to enlarge pick it up in its neutral position and now we are going to expand There you go. So neutral, shrunken, large. Let's try something else. So again, three for three. I wanted to try like these foliage leaves here. So let's see. Um, I'll go back to the, oh, I'll go back with white. I mean black, white, haha. <laughs> that would be funny to stamp on white. Hmm, <laughs> let's do that image. Make sure I'm in neutral position. And that's a pretty big leaf already. So I'm kind of interested to see how big this leaf is going to get when we enlarge it. Okay. So now take it from neutral position, go all the way up, and we're going to pick it up again to, we're going to enlarge it to shrink it. Which is kind of funny but that's what we got to do can you guys believe it? it's already april Dude, this year is going by swift i don't know if it's just me like the older i get the shorter time seems to go by definitely smaller okay so keep it in neutral position Whoa. <laughs> yep. So again, we're four for four. Suggested method that I am recommending, that was recommended to me when using the shrinking stamper, definitely use today's method. So we'll, if, if say for instance, the original method I showed works for you, go ahead, do it. But I would say probably the suggested method for consistency of enlarging of the images definitely works. So use it this way. Um, and yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think this is definitely a go. Give me a thumbs up if you guys agree with today's um, demo because I think this method definitely works. So if any of you guys are wondering or needed clarification on the Flexi Stamper, 
thank you so much to the person who commented for bringing this to my attention and for other people who commented as well who said that they weren't clear and just gave us an opportunity to kind of clear it up for our community here and for anybody else who might be interested in wanting to try the flexi stamper for yourself oddly enough i don't know how that worked though <laughs> but um let me see if there are any comments can you believe we're doing it under an hour today my gosh um i don't think that doesn't often happen here at maniology live but um i hope that clarifies for you guys um let's see Da, 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 da. I love the community. You guys definitely have a lot of conversation and stuff to talk about here. So um, I always appreciate you guys helping each other out and giving each other suggestions. But honestly, I think for today, this was pretty good. Oh, Caitlin Down says a lot of people were asking about reverse stamping with the stamper. Um, I think I addressed it. I didn't show any samples of how to um, reverse stamp, but definitely just looking at these, I would say any of these you could reverse stamp. So, you know, after you pick up the image, of course, when you're shrinking an image, depending on how much detail is, you know, some detail can be lost depending on how intricate the, de the design is created. But I would say all of these you could definitely reverse stamp with. You just have to do the same method after picking up your image and then painting the color on top. Martha said, I did reverse and it works. It definitely would work. Um, let's see. This stamper does a better job than any one I tried. Oh, thanks, Deborah. That's awesome. Um, somebody asks, <laughs> can you do that double stamping with this stamper or just in general? Because if you want to see a, a sample of me actually double stamping, I did do a double stamp um, in a previous video. So you guys got to go check that out. Um, Dev made history and then I actually managed to mock... Um, mimic not mock mimic that history and it worked um i think we also have a short done on our social media too i was so happy when i was able to pick up the triple stamping that's pretty awesome um let's see my apologies hi ladies is that devin online with us absolutely that is dev <laughs> oh dev answered okay um let's see okay i mean i think with this stamper cynthia is asking the degree of difficulty is the question regarding the flexi stamper like the degree of difficulty in use i i would say um it should be pretty elementary. And I think I say that too, because if I had to compare this to the original shrinking, the two-in-one stamper, that would definitely be like an intermediate to a much harder method of doing it. But, you know, sometimes we have to go and do things a little, um, you know, we find solutions for our problems and we do it a different way. This, I would say, is pretty elementary, pretty easy to use and it's an all-in-one system or you can also make it into a two-in-one if you want to but this just makes it a whole lot easier it makes it consistent to do the enlarging and the shrinking of your images so i hope that answers that question um Let's see, Mystic Kitten is saying, please demo something with negative space, especially enlarging. Oh, hmm. Let me see if I can find. You don't mean something like this, right? I mean, we're probably looking at something a lot more negative space than this. Let me see if I have plates that are by me. Mm. 
Mm. Oh gosh, do I have, of course this would be the one time that I have like all of these highly etched um, images and nothing that's, Maybe I could try with this, this ghost design here. Let's try with that. Okay, let's go in a little closer. Okay, so four kicks. We're gonna do continue with the three-step method. Okay, I mean not the three-step. I'm gonna show you the neutral and I'm gonna show you shrunk and I'm also gonna show you enlarge. So let's let's try with um this like negative space. It's it's about a 50-50, so let's try. With an image like this, you definitely need a lot of polish. So don't cover the whole image. And also scraping is very, very important because you don't want to scrape and dig out too much polish on the inside. Here's the neutral. Let's go ahead and pick up that image. Okay. Oh, keep forgetting. I picked it up, it just didn't stamp. So let's see if I can score that off. Okay. So let's go ahead and shrink that. Okay, let's clean this up and do it again. Isn't that so satisfying? Seeing all that polish just cleaned off. I'll be honest, I don't like cleaning the polishes, especially after a live. I mean, there's just coming off of the adrenaline, I think of doing the lives and just having all the, everything that needs to be done. But um, what do you call? Um, sorry, I got, forgot what I was saying, but, um, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I needed to do that over again. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this in large <laughs> since I did it backwards. Okay. So that is the enlarged. So let's do, keep it now enlarged and I'm gonna shrink it. So what I was saying about cleaning the plates, right? That's where my mind was before I had the brain fart is, you know, after the lives, I don't like to clean the plates, but when I do clean the plates, if it looks and feels very satisfying, that's what I was gonna say. Especially when it's black, look at all that polish and stuff. Okay, so now I have this already in an enlarged position. And let's see what it looks like shrunk. Back up. And now I'm gonna shrink this. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Look at that. So you see how actually in the shrunken, you can still see the eyes, but you kind of, uh, you can still see detail, I guess. You can see a little bit of the eyes. I thought it lost the detail, but you can actually see a decent amount. So... There you go. OK, 
Okay, let's see. Okay, I see um, before I sign off and stuff, I know we all speak in, you know, different ways and stuff like that. I know for me, I'm a person who is all about the intention. Intention is very important to me. And um, I don't think, you know, um, the person who left the comment, the intent was to be malicious in any way. So for any of you who are thinking that, I'm here to tell you straight out, that's not, me reading the comment had nothing at all to do with that. It's just to address it. The rest of you guys could read it. Um, it's not like a secret knowledge or anything. And that's what the community is here for, is to address these things. It's not to uh, call anybody out and stuff. But if I didn't address it, then people would be left with questions, right? So again, at the end of this, it's about being kind. That's all we're trying to do here. Um, so the intent of that comment was to be helpful. And so therefore, I wanted to sh share that helpfulness with the rest of you guys. So I hope that cleared it up. There's, there's definitely no ill intent or anything. I think we're all G. That's what the community is here for. And we're here to help everybody. So um, I think with that said, we should be all good for today's live. I hope you guys enjoyed being here with me. And I hope I clarified some things for you guys in today's live. And hopefully moving forward, um, you know, if there are any questions about the enlarging, definitely, definitely, definitely do this method. I think it's, you know, oh, oh, whoa, getting crazy here with the cheese whiz. Um, it works. I did all of these images today using the suggested method. It works. It's perfect. Would I recommend you guys to do it? Absolutely. So use this as a guide for the, um, for using the flexi stamper, if this is something you're interested in. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful Tuesday. As always, be kind. I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys have any um, suggestions for future lives, write it in the comments. We would love to hear. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye.